Hi everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Halloween slash spooky home haul. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I kept going out and going shopping more. So yeah, I'm doing this now. There'll probably be another one um, just because it's such a good time of year for everything. I feel like stores are putting stuff out early this year. Last year they weren't really able to and because of that, I feel like I'm seeing so many things that maybe I wanted to get last year or in prior years and I couldn't. So I've been grabbing what I can as it becomes available. I'm trying to not go over the top, but it's challenging. Anyway, let's get into it because I kind of have a lot to show you. I have stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond, from Michael's, of course, Joann's, Target, of course. I do want to say too, like, don't feel like if you're into spooky decor and all of that, don't feel like you have to rush out and buy a bunch of stuff. It gets overwhelming. I know there's like just so much consumerism out there too, that like a lot of this, it, none of this is necessary. I shouldn't say a lot of this isn't necessary. None of it's necessary. I just like set aside money to spend during this time of the year on home decor because it's stuff that I love and that I use year round. So for me, it's totally worth it. I know a lot of you are in that same boat as well. Don't feel like that's what you have to do. You can definitely take advantage of sales. You can take advantage of secondhand stores. I, last year in like November, December, that was also when I did another scouring of everything online. I was like, what does Michael suddenly have that they didn't before? What's on clearance? Is it anything I wanted full price? Now it's on sale. I got a few things that way last year too. So don't feel like you need to go spend a ton of money. It's not necessary for me. It's just fun. And I hope this is fun for you too. So one of the things I got, which I may as well share, is this mug from Michael's. I thought it was so cute. I just thought it was adorable. I also got a little ghost mug too. This little guy right here. I just thought they were adorable. I thought they were fun. Did I need another ghost mug? No, but I don't have any that look this happy. So I thought it might make me feel happy when I'm drinking my coffee in it. So good. Um, I did also get that candy corn pillow. That's from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then the ghost one is from there as well. And then the other two on there were a gift from friends. My friend Allie gave those to me. I think probably home goods, but I'm not 100% sure. I will try to link to as much as I can in the description box, but it is very hard. Stuff sells out quickly or stuff is only in stores, never comes online. So I'll do my best to link to everything. If you have questions about anything, comment, let me know, and I can give you maybe an alternate or another one. A lot of stores carry similar stuff this time of year. From Chewy, because you can't forget the animals. I got a couple of really cute, just Halloween toys. I got some catnip candy corn for the cat. Juniper loves like oversized toys and she carries them around. But I got this for her. She, I just had to go dig this out of my closet because she brought it in there. But it's just a cute little uh, ghosty latte. Hi, applesauce. From Target in the bullseye section. I don't know why they call it bullseye now. I'm, I'm trying to not call it dollar spot because everything Hardly anything's a dollar there, but I got some little fuzzy pumpkins. I have a lot of ceramic pumpkins that my friend Jess gave me a couple of years ago, but I haven't really added to that collection. Oh, and my mom sent me like some velour ones that are like really pretty jewel tones, but these are like fuzzy. They're cute. So this stuff just sells so quickly that I was like, you know what? I know I'm going to want more pumpkins, which is such a weird thing to say, but I'm just going to grab it. From Target too, I also got this coffin shaped I think it's a cheese board. Yeah, it's a coffin cheese board. It's wood. It's not ceramic. All their other ones they have this year are ceramic and they have like a white one with a skeleton and then one that's black and says eat, drink, and be scary, I think. But I just really like this one because it is plain. I'm going to be getting a new dining table soon. So I'm really excited to have this for there and to have this out on there on my table. Another thing that I got also too, since I'm going to be all over the place, I'll break it down by store down below. From Michael's that I forgot to grab for this was the coffin shaped glass like container that opens. And I think I might put that on the dining table too, because it's real cute. Also from Target, I got the little bird feet candle holders. I got two of each size. I wanted these so badly last year and I saw them in store and I didn't pick them up and I regretted it. It was like the freaking baby skull, baby head, doll, doll baby head planter from Michaels this year. I didn't get it because I was like, mm, I don't know that I actually like need that. And then I regretted it and I've been looking for them ever since. So as soon as these were available online, I picked up two in each size again for my dining table. It's giving me an excuse. I just need to figure out candles. I saw Michaels has some like LED black taper ones. So I'll probably get those if I can. From TJ Maxx, I got this super cute little 
candy corn mug. They're in costume. There's like a bat, a little Frankenstein, a pirate, a witch. I just thought it was adorable and I needed it. I did also get from TJ Maxx the like Rachel Zoe throw blanket. It's black woven. I realize saying Rachel Zoe throw blanket is not helpful at all. It's the Rachel Zoe ghost throw blanket. So it's black, it's woven, and then it has the raised ghosts. And then my friend Allie got me the like super soft, comfy ghost one, which is usually on here. But right now I have that Overlook one, which tons of people are asking. It's from Middle of Beyond. I don't think they make it anymore, but Dead Cats Club, they make one. So I'll link to that one down below. They also have freaking overalls in that print. So cute, which I realize is ridiculous because I'm wearing some overalls that Hot Topic sent me right now that are um, Disney Halloween like vintage, but apparently I like overalls. That's a new thing about me. From Home Goods, I got this little baking dish. It's meant to be for Brie. I don't eat dairy, so I won't be using it for that. But I could not pass it up because it looked like a little pumpkin with a little witch's hat on it. I am a sucker for tiny things. I do also have that I got them a few years ago. Michael's had oven safe cauldrons. And apparently they have them back this year. So I'm going to try and pick up some of those. I've been looking for them again because they're so much fun to have because they're oven safe, they're dishwasher safe. You can eat out of them. So any dishware like that, I love to get. Another pumpkin-y thing from Bed Bath & Beyond that I got is this little drink dispenser. It's cheesy. Yes. Is it necessary? No. But does it bring me so much joy? Definitely, definitely. And Bed Bath & Beyond, I feel like is really overpriced, but if you hit it right with the sale and you add a coupon, you can get an okay deal. From Target, I got some of these like LED black candles. I have some in my office Decorate With Me video, the part one that I showed before. I say that because I'm looking at them right now. Um, so I saw that they had them back and these are different sizes than what they had before. So I got, a, I got two sets of them. I like them. I do wish they had a remote, but for $5 for two, I'm not gonna argue, they're fun, something nice to have. I did also get to this LED potion bottle light. So it's a color changing light. This just has a little snake on it. I'm trying to turn it so you can see in the light. I thought it was just really adorable, really cute. And speaking of snakes, when I went back a different day, they had this guy, which is just a glass bottle. I thought it was so, so cute. When I do my dining room ritual zero proof, they sent me a few bottles of things to try out, but I think I might put this out with them just to give it like a fun touch. I will say this mug is incredibly hard to drink out of though, the little like ripple bed. These are the cups that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got them just to have like outside cups. So I got some little bats and then this one is skulls, bats, and jack-o'-lanterns. From Target, I got some of their little potion bottles. I just think these are adorable. I know some people are really not into them and think they're so cheesy. I think they're so cute. I have some of them from last year too and I like to mix them. I have like a little three-tiered tray stand from Target last year that has like crows on it and a little picket fence. I need to find a new one because I had a box fan in a window and during a storm it fell back and smashed it. So now I need to get a new one of those. Anyway, long way to say that I had a bunch of little potion bottles of like actual herbs and stuff on it. And I liked mixing these in with them. I got like five, six, seven of these, but my favorites were the full moon magic. So it's some little, just little sequins, moon stars, the ghost breath, which is iridescent ghost sequins. So cute. Is it sequins or is it glitter? Is it sequins only if you can sew it? If you can't sew it, is it a sequin or is it glitter? I don't know. My mom probably knows. Which is brooms, which are actual little tiny brooms. I just thought it was so cute, so adorable. I think these are just fun. What do you think, applesauce? Um, from Michael's, I picked up a few of these jars. There are a couple more over there. I do store herbs in these. Again, I think it's it's just fun. It's a fun way to do it. Raven's eyeballs. I love the lids of these. And I got a few from of these last year too that are also on that shelf. So if you want to see close-ups of them, I do have a video. It's the office makeover or like decorate with me part two where I do this wall. So cute. From Michaels, I also got this old Salem Broom Company sign because I just thought it was fun. It's cheesy. I think I'm going to put it because I just hit myself in the head with it. I think I'm going to put it above the door outside in the hall. I just think it's really cheesy. Like it's fun. It's gimmicky. Target, I got a couple of dish towels. These, now that I'm looking at them, they remind me of, but when they show you like old tiny baseball movies and they're always wearing these weird pinstripe pants. These remind me of that now that I'm looking at it. I just liked the ghost though. He's saying boo. 
from Monin, I ordered some different syrups. I got candy corn, which I didn't get last year because I was really skeptical, but it has really good reviews. I don't remember what candy corn tastes like. It's basically impossible to find plant-based candy corn without gelatin, so I don't even remember what it tastes like, so we'll see if I like it or not. got maple spice because I love maple. Anything maple, I want. I just want it. So this I will definitely use year-round, and then I got the pumpkin spice because it's that season. And Joanne, I got some socks because I'm a sucker for fun socks. For me, I was like, oh, these are cute. They're over the knee, little ghosts. A couple of more Target bullseye finds. This tray with the little snakes for handles. How cute is this? I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll figure it out because it's freaking cute. And then this little one with the little fence with uh, spider webs. When all else fails, put a plant on it, right? I got some more of these fun jars from the bullseye spot. Um, again, I just store herbs in these. Or I honestly, too, since they're clear, I might use them for plant cuttings to root them. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm so excited about this. I tried to get this last year from Target and I failed. Every time I would try and order it, it would sell out immediately. It's a little candy dish with a spider on it. I saw it from Tail, Tail and Treat. I think that's her username on Instagram. Really sweet content creator, creates spooky content, great content. I'm sure a lot of you already follow her. But yeah, she had posted about this last year and I kept trying to get it, kept selling out, and then... I was in the store last week and they had like five things on the display, like hardly anything. And this was one. And I was like, Ooh, it's a sign. It's a sign. Buy it now. Another thing that I've been wanting to get from Target last year and didn't was this little skeleton cake pan. I make banana bread and pumpkin bread like pretty regularly. So seems fitting. Joanne also has, it feels weird saying Joanne, like it's a person. Joanne's which I think is technically incorrect, but whatever. They have a bunch of bakeware from this company, so I wanna get more. So there's one that I saw that's like a skull or a skeleton, and I wanna get it because I saw last year a reel of someone that made like pizza things with it. Is it pizza pockets? Is that what those are called? Doesn't matter. I want it, I want it. A couple of other things from Michael's. I got this little skull, it's kind of creepy. Um, it just, so nothing else to say really. And then I got this little, hand. I just thought it was fun. I thought it would be nice to have on a shelf somewhere. I really want to find one of these where the fingers are separated to use as a ring stand, but I feel like that might be a hard, sorry, it just feels weird to be like, um, I feel like that might be a hard ask, but I want to find one. But in the meantime, I thought this was just a fun decoration. And now that I have like more space to decorate, I want to be able to do so and to have stuff that I enjoy. I got this little thing from Target. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, Every time I see this in a piece of content, that's literally what the person says. I bought it because it's cute, but I don't know what to do with it. It's a little cloche. The hand reminds me of a Simpsons hand. I guess it has too many fingers to be a Simpsons hand, huh? It's just so cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's so freaking cute. Maybe take the cloche off, put a candle in it. I got this little candle stand. You can use it for a plant. You can use it for whatever you want. This could be a pretty coffee. Don't even worry about it. This was at Target as well. I got a little... I think it's called an appetizer plate from Target because they're being proper. I have a couple last year. I was only able to get my hands on like two last year that are both different patterns. So mine literally had only this one out. So I grabbed it because I wanted a third one. I love the size of it. And I thought this was just cute and fun. I like that it's orange. And let's end on some mugs because I needed more mugs. Got this little mummy guy. Thought he was so cute another ghost mug because I needed more ghost mugs. I now have three. And then this little cauldron mug, which makes my second cauldron mug. But I thought the spider web was so cute. I've never seen that before. So that is stuff that I've picked up as spooky home decor. I'm probably going to be picking up more. Let me know if you want to see more of these haul videos. I enjoy making them. I think they're fun. It's a fun way to share like different things with you instead of just like, here's a makeup haul. You know what I mean? I would love to hear what you picked up too. I know it's early in the season, but I know a lot of us has been doing our shopping earlier this year because we, we have to. I feel like everyone's starting early, like all the stores are starting early and I feel like they're not stocking as much as they used to. But I also think that after the past couple of years, we're all just like so excited to have like a more normal holiday around Halloween too and like see more stuff on the shelves. So it's exciting. It's exciting. Anyway, that was everything that I picked up. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you next time.